Hello dear students yesterday we started with chapter number 4 weather and climate and we have completed till climate and today we are going to go with elements of weather elements of weather first we are going to study about temperature the earth surface gets heat from the surf- sun the earth is getting heat from sun as a result the surface gets heated up as a result the surface gets heated the air close to the surface starts becoming hot and later one by one different layers of air at high elevation receives heat so slowly slowly different layers of higher level is getting heat therefore as we move upwards from the sea level the temperature of the air also decreases the temperature also goes on decreasing from the equator towards both the poles as well as the temperature also decreasing from the equator to both the poles what is air pressure air, air has weight air is having some weight as a re- result it creates pressure it is called air pressure now air can push you too much pressure it is having the lower most layers of the air get subjected to the pressure the lower most areas is getting more pressure to the upper layers hence the density of the lower layers goes on increasing there is a greater air pressure near the surface of the earth there is a greater air pressure near the surface near the downside of the earth and it decreases with increasing the height what this is because the vertical air pressure these changes also occur in horizontal manner these changes are also during this horizontal manner and thus give rise to the winds what are winds air starts moving from high pressure towards the low pressure as moving through high pressure to low pressure areas in a horizontal direction and this moving air is called as wind wind blows from high to low pressure areas wind is blowing from high areas to low areas and its speed depends on the amount of difference in pressure and the speed is depending upon the differences in the pressure what is moisturizer a moisture the atmosphere contains vapor the vapor which you boil in the house the waters and all that and the droplets on the plates which come that is called as a vapor the air that has greater amount of vapor is called humid air the air which is having more humidity or more amount of vapor is called as humid air the humidity in the atmosphere is called moisture when there is too much hot so that atmosphere is called as moisture the proportion of moisture in the atmosphere depends on temperature the proportion of moisture in the air is depending on the temperature air with higher temperature holds a greater amount of moisture air with higher temperature is getting holder to a greater amount of moisturizer precipitation what does it mean vapor in the atmosphere condenses water into water droplets of or snow particles now we have vapor in the atmosphere it is condensing into water droplets one one two two drops or or snow particles the showering on the earth is called precipitations that is rainfall snowfall hail storm etc are the forms of precipitations weather is described on the basis of conditions prevailing at the given time while climate is described on the basis of conditions prevailing over a longer period of time now what is said here weather is described on the basis of conditions which is prevailing at the time which is given while climate is described on the basis of the conditions that is prevailing for a longer period of time weather keeps on changing frequently and we can experience the changes very easily now weather is always changing frequently every now and then changes in the climate take place over a longer period of time and these are not perceived easily latitudinal position height above the sea level nearness to the sea oceanic currents etc are the factors that influence climate beside these mountain ranges types of land local lands are other factors that influence the climate of a region so in the next chapter we'll see 
or will seek more about temperature always remember the weather at a place keeps changing frequently but the climate does not change that often the climate is different at different locations within our country india it is cool at some places and hot at some other places it may be humid in one some areas and dry in others so do you know the climate affects the entire living world in different ways life mostly thrives in regions which have a conducive climate which is having some other type of not more hot cold conducive climate the climate also influences the diet what we eat as per the climate you eat your food shelter the houses how you make according to the climate over there etc of living things the distribution of water on the earth is also controlling a factor of climate so here my dear children i have completed the chapter you go through the chapter you read it once again i'll give you notes as well as some worksheet to solve thank you have a great day